find a set of parametric equations of the line passing through the two points given. So to get started here, let's simply label our points. We'll say this is point A and this is point B. All right, so the goal here is to find the parametric equations or a set of parametric equations of a line. So we are looking for some x of t is equal to x naught plus a t. We need y of t is equal to y naught plus b t. And we also need z of t, which is defined as z naught plus c t. And this is, of course, such that t is some real number. So notice that the question itself says to find a set of parametric equations of a line. This is implying that there are multiple correct answers. So it's all going to depend on how you define your vector and what point you choose as P naught. So to get started, let's choose a point P naught. And either one will work. So I'll let P naught be A in this case. So I'm going to let my P naught be equal to the ordered triplet negative 2, 1, 0. But again, keep in mind that using point B works perfectly as well. You just need one though. So we'll start with this point. The next thing that we need to do is define the parallel vector. Define that vector V. And again, we have two choices here. We could let vector V be defined as the vector from point A to point B. But this again is not exclusive. We could also use vector V is equal to the vector defined from point B to point A. That one works as well. Again, you only need one, but I want to emphasize that how you set up your line is going to dictate what the answer looks like. So let's use vector V defined as the vector or the directed line segment from point A to point B. So here we go. Thinking terminal minus initial, we have the vector with components 1, minus a minus 2, 3, minus 1, and 5, minus 0. So this leaves us with the vector 3, 2, 5. All right, we have everything that we need. We have a point on the line. We have the vector parallel to the line. And so we're ready to find the line. And so we'll give ourselves a little bit more room. So here we go. We know, of course, that the vector valued equation of the line is the position vector plus t multiplied by the parallel vector v. So remember, the position vector is the vector from the origin to your point p naught. So this is going to be the vector defined by the components negative 2, 1, 0, plus t times the parallel vector, 3, 2, 5. And we want to simplify this so we can see the parametric equations. So again, we distribute our t through to each component, which would give us the vector 3t, 2t, 5t. And now we can add up those like components. So this leaves us with the vector negative 2 plus 3t. We have 1 plus 2t, and then 0 plus 5t. So we have the vector valued equation of the line, but just be careful. We don't want the vector valued equation. We want the parametric equations. So we want to think about the individual components as their own functions of t. So we can conclude that, therefore, the parametric equations of this line, or one set of parametric equations, are as follows. We have x of t is equal to negative 2 plus 3t. We have y of t is defined as 1 plus 2t. And z of t is defined as 5t. And this, of course, is such that t is 
any real number from negative infinity to positive infinity. So this is our, this is one possible beautiful final answer. Oops. And now again, if you chose P0 to be the point B, that's still going to give you a correct answer. So just exercise caution as you practice. Multiple correct answers exist. Or in other words, this is not an exclusive solution. It is one possible solution.